Yeah, I mean, they came out um, with a lot of energy in the second half, as we predicted. Um, we talked about that, you know, it was going to be right from the get-go. Because, um, you know, I mean, their, their feeling's got to be, hey, you know what, they're 11-4. and four. They had a, a win streak of 11. They beat Wisconsin at Wisconsin. I mean, they've had some huge, huge wins. They were The RPI was in the 60s. So, you know, for us being down a couple people, so I, I'm sure that... You know, I, I'm sure they were challenged. I'm sure they were challenged to come out and um, take it at us, and, and they did, um, obviously, on the uh, boards, and that was the one thing that was, you know, hard for us because, you know, we packed it in a little bit, but, yeah, they still somehow uh, came up with the rebound. So that was a, a little deflating on that end. But, um, you know, and Coble, she snuck loose from us a couple of times. We did a decent job on her in the half, first half. Uh, Haley did a nice job. She only had two, but... She just, you know, all of a sudden they got comfortable with our defense and we had to switch and then sure enough, boom, that's when, uh, you know, she came out and hit a couple shots. So that's what we're looking at. We're a work in progress, um, but I am proud of the girls, how they came out and they, the, it was a great first half and obviously this is a, a new lineup, a new look, and it was nice to see those shots go. They had to come out of their zone because we uh, just dissected it so well early and then we just kind of, um, you know, lost our rhythm a little bit, so, but it was a lot to build on. And touch on that rebounding deficit really quick. Why do you think that primarily happened today? Uh, because they have two dominant 6'3", you know, mm -hmm. veteran players. I mean, Campbell's a transfer from, you know, I forget where she comes from, but, I mean, she comes from a big-time school, and then Hanneman is a, a vet inside, and she... Um, she did a heck of a job. They were just aggressive, and we just didn't do a great job of getting position, and uh, that's just, that comes with experience. So that's what it was, and we, you know, we, we tried to spread them out as far as on the offensive end to, to try to get some stuff going to the basket and maybe get them to help and hit some shooters. So that um, takes away some offensive rebounding uh, opportunities for us. So that's why you only see two offensive rebounds on our end. Haley, uh, talk about today, your season high, 11 points. I saw you after practice today, uh, get up some extra shots. Uh, I believe you said you wanted to hit three three-pointers from about six or seven spots on the court. But, you know, talk about that, you know, having you know the mindset you were going to get the start and you needed to put in some offense. Um, well, we have a lot of people hurt, so I knew that some players had to step up, and I wanted to be one of them. So that's why I was getting the extra shots in after, because if I got the ball and I shot it, I wanted to make sure I had a high percentage to get it in, because... If I did make a few, I knew they'd come out and guard me, and that would leave Sine open more. So. Coach, you, you touched on it earlier. It seems to be a new lineup every, every night. You started three freshmen today. Um, you know, not even Michigan, when they had the Fab Five, really wanted to start five freshmen. It just happened that way. Right. Um, but, I mean, once again, the team did come out with a lot of energy. The freshmen did come out. I mean, Meg Galloway had about six points in a row there, a couple offensive rebounds. So, I mean, the effort's there from this team right now. Oh, there's no question, and that's what I like. And we talked about having passion and energy and never giving up and just always, you know, diving on the floor for loose balls, and that's what we were looking for. Uh, we're looking for that right combination, that right chemistry that's going to, um, you know, get us to a position where we can start to win some games. And, you know, I just felt like against, the Oakland, against Oakland, there was a point in the game where I think that they – hit a couple shots, whether it was transition or whether it was a, an offensive rebound, um, and all of our heads went down. And I just didn't think that on the court, nobody with that combination that was out there picked us up and turned around and said, hey, let's go, you know, I just didn't have that. And, you know, I'm hearing Bree and I'm hearing Haley and they're still fighting and battling. So, you know, that's that's what it's all about. So that's what I'm looking for personally as a coach. And it's, it's great to see that our, our young kids step out and play a team like this really tight in the first half and and they never quit either so we went to a trapping defense in the second half and we we turned them over we turned them over and it was nice to see us capitalize on the other end and it's just all something to build on and you know what I just we're looking for um, kids that want to play kids that appreciate playing kids that have fun out there and I know losing's not fun but at the same time you can you know you can kind of tell um, you know who has who's appreciative of the opportunity to play Division One basketball. So we will continue to um, rotate and change and look and see and experiment until we find that one combination that we're real solid with and, and go from there and hopefully get some other kids to return into that lineup. And I really don't know when that's going to be. 
uh, no real solid uh, window, days, whatnot. It's just, it is hard to see, you know, I should have a no crutches rule on the bench just so I don't look over there and, you know, no, don't even bring them out here, we'll, we'll carry you. So anyway, it's just, but that, that's the hand we've been dealt and that's what we're doing and these guys are getting a heck of a lot of experience when maybe they wouldn't have. Coach, uh, you got a tough three game uh, road trip coming up. What, in a game like this, what do you uh, kind of, what, what do you tell your team? Uh, what, do you, what do you teach them about uh, just moving forward after a game like this? You know, we only have to win, I mean, three, four games in March. That's it. I mean, any, it's anyone's game, regardless of your position, regardless of anything. You know, I, I talk about Loyola last year. I mean, they lost Simone Law to an injury, and all of a sudden they came back undefeated. So, I mean, as long as we just can stick together and we don't fall apart and we just maintain a positive attitude, myself included, uh, I just think it's, it's anyone's game the entire season until it gets to March. That's it, period. I mean, we may have to win a few more games than we want to in a row, but it's very, very possible because I think that we do have the firepower to get it done in March, especially uh, knowing at that time, I feel like we'll have two and th two, at least two people back. So um, that's when we're saying, hey, you know what, let's get some quality minutes here and we get really deep in March and just it's anybody's game. So I will not, uh, no, I'm not, you can kick me. You can, you can try to push me down and, and, but I, I'm not going away. It's like, what, Jason and Friday the 13th, there was like, what, 10, 10 movies. He just keeps coming back. Like, he just won't die. So, like, that's us. That's our motive. We're going to keep coming back every single game until we figure it out. Haley, with you, uh, one of your teammates today, Sine, you know, she was able to go over 1,000 point mark. Um, just as a teammate, as a freshman, do you look at that and go, you know, if I put in the hard work and stuff, you know, that could be me one day? Because she was in the same position as you, didn't. Well, actually, you probably got more playing time than she did just because of the roster at that time. Um, but, you know, knowing that you put in the hard work and effort, you know, you, you could put yourself up. You know, you know, what is it like when you see a player like that get that thousand points? She, she's definitely a role model for me. I always see her in the gym getting extra shots. And every time I see her, I want to go and just, like, try and get more time in there than she has because I know that she put in all that hard work. And I know if I do the same thing, then I can try and get to where she is, where she's averaging 20-some points. And hopefully I can get up there <laughs> just with some more experience and stuff. And then coach, obviously seeing her play for four years, and uh, she, she's she's on your tails for a couple of records here. I believe she's about 23 short of uh, of your second place mark. So, uh, but you know you you know, obviously you know recruited her, seen her play for four years, and you know it got to be special to see her. I said, well, I'm just gonna pull her out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, I'll take a seat today. Oh, I'm kidding. I know it's it's remarkable just knowing where that where she came from that first year. Um, you know, Jaleesa Jones took her under her wing and made her look really good. I mean, she did a great job of drawing the defense and kicking to Sine, and she got wide open looks for those first couple of years. Didn't really have to work too hard to get it. Uh, but even though, her, I mean, her freshman year, she rarely played, but she was in the gym all the time. She would always stay from shoot around to the game uh, on the court with her headphones on, just shooting, shooting, and she hung in there and finally got her um, big chance when she hit five threes against Michigan in one half. So we said, oh, we, well, we could use that. And she took that motivation, and to have somebody like that now who, you know, she's got a bunch of youngsters around her that aren't established, and she's having to drive and she's got to get by two and three people turn in the corner I mean that's a lot for her and you know I, I do want to tell her at some point it'll be after the season but she is doing an exceptional job and I know she gets frustrated um, but just to have that kind of caliber kid be up for the award that she's up for I mean one of the 28 seniors in the country for the Nancy Lieberman mm -hmm. award I mean that watch list that is just incredible so uh, my hat goes off to her because she, I saw her work at it and we're seeing the fruits of her labor at this point well,